Okay, this is a test showing how hard it is to suck up some water out of a bucket. You might not think it's very hard, but most blowers can actually not pull very hard. Even though they could blow pretty hard, they can't pull a lot of water suction. Now this is a very, very simple gauge. It's a hose, it's a clear hose, stuck down in some water and run up a ladder so that we'll have the maximum range. So each inch on this hose of height would be counted as one inch of water column. That's actually a measurement. So we're going to test out this little blower. See that? I've got the uh, shop vac hose hooked up here. And we'll just hook it in here. And switch it on. It's pretty loud. But you'll see how much water it can pull out of the bucket. right there. I'd say that's about, oh, I don't know, seven or eight inches of water. Seven or eight inches of water column. Okay, in case you couldn't hear me during that part, that was about seven or eight inches of water column. Okay, for comparison, we have the normal shop back here. Okay, this is a six horsepower shop vac, uh, and we'll just plug the hose in and you can watch that water column, see how it does with the shop vac. This is the point right here, it's about halfway between these two rungs, okay. So I would say that's about four feet, 48 inches of water column. Maybe a little less, maybe 40, say 42 inches. 42 inches of water column because you do have to count above the surface of the water to the point where the water column is. But there it sits, steady, it's 45 inches of water column. So there you have it. The little blower made about 7 or 8 inches, the shop vac made about 45 inches.